we'll just have to see. I'm sure some won't be happy with it, but we just couldn't do it. After more than five decades serving the community, a local fire department is making a major change this new year, dropping its ambulance service. The Rockwood Volunteer Fire Department says a lack of interest in declining membership over the past few years has made it harder to keep the service up and running. Maria Miller talked with the department today and has the story for us. This past year, we only ran about half of the calls we got dispatched for, and we're supposed to do 24-7, 365 coverage, and we couldn't do that anymore. Like most volunteer fire departments, Michael Faleski says membership in Rockwood has dropped, leaving them with less manpower to serve the community. In recent years, seeing such a decline that out of a department technically made up of about 50 members, Faleski says there are only 15 to 20 who are truly active. Nobody has any dedication anymore. You get members and they're here for a little bit and then something else comes up and you just don't see them anymore. Others, he says, not wanting to take the countless hours of training needed to become certified while longtime members are getting worn out. We only had four or five EMTs and they've all been EMTs and running ambulance calls probably 15, 10 to 15 years is the youngest and it's just getting old for them. And it's not just the declining membership that's hurt. Valeski says it was a struggle getting reimbursed for each call, giving the department less money to do a job already done by volunteers. We build for our ambulance service, but you had to fill out a trip sheet specifically, and they were always looking for reasons to reject it. With paramedics responding to their last call on December 31st, Rockwood will now rely on neighboring Marclay's Community Ambulance, currently stationed at a hub in New Centerville, just a few miles down the road.